Hi guys. I just I just wanted to make a vlog. Yes, I got all my oxygen. I got tired of people harassing me to get all my oxygen today. I've actually needed on it for several days, but I needed I need new nasal cannules. And I haven't been able to get them. So I'm just using the same old ones. They just don't work as good, you know, after you use the same ones for a few years. Um, so somebody's going to stop and try to get me some when she goes to town Saturday if they're open. Um, just fighting with Sherm. He thinks I can do things that I can't do and makes me feel bad because I can't do it. Makes me feel it. bad too. Because you can't. You don't realize how it makes me feel. makes me feel. Get off my lazy ASS and help do something. Like I want to sit here in my chair 24-7 every single day of my life. Like I don't want to get up and be able to walk and be able to do stuff. Rise out of the chair. Do something. Anyways, guys, um, Shasta's body was sent to another county to do a, a more advanced autopsy, as you know, and the autopsy report should be back in five to seven weeks. Um, we're hoping that it shows what really happened to her because we, her family, know that she was murdered. We know that she would not commit suicide. There's no way she would have committed suicide. She was, like, extremely happy. And there's just no way she would have committed suicide. She was with her grandma before she left. And she got an urgent text and said told her grandma that she had to go and that she would be back and she never came back and then as you know her body was found in the river but her car was also found there on the bridge with three doors open blood on the on the headrest and the armrest her ATM card laying on the seat her cell phone laying in there. Her shoes were in there. Um, I think they said her purse was in there also. I don't know. But her money, she just, she came into tens of thousands of dollars from her dad's settlement and where he had died and stuff and because he passed away just not too long ago. He fell. Um, He was due to be married the following weekend, and he laid down to take a nap and died in his sleep. It was his heart. I didn't know there was anything wrong with his heart. And the same thing happened to another cousin on the same side of our family. Like a week after, a week or a couple of days after it happened to him, the exact same thing. And he was also due to be married. And now this was Shasta, and we know we just know she was murdered. And I hope that the truth comes out, and um, I hope that Shasta gets justice. She was only 20 years old. I got some news also on my sister and the twins. She found out the sex of the babies. I thought she was carrying, I thought for sure she was carrying twin boys. I thought for sure of it. I was wrong. Um, we're having twin girls. They're both little girls. She's already got the names picked out. So, baby A, which is the baby that is doing excellent. She is growing nice and big and growing fast. They, she's doing fantastic. 
got a great heartbeat. Her name is going to be Kinsley Elizabeth, and she's naming her her middle name Elizabeth after me, which I am very honored. And I could not believe it. I never thought I'd have anybody named after me, ever. So that was like I cried and cried and still cry when I think about it. And Kinsley, I think that's a really pretty name. And Baby B, which is the baby that has the swollen brain and fluid on the brain. Yes, she's also got fluid on her brain. That's what it said in my sister's last doctor's appointment, which was just a few days ago. Her brain is swollen, and she's also got fluid on her brain. And she's also in a small sack. The sack that she's in is not very big. And she's a lot smaller than Kinsley is. She's not growing as fast, but she still has a strong heartbeat and everything. So my sister has to go to a high-risk doctor at OSU for um, the pregnancy. Um, I think she goes on the 22nd for her first appointment. But anyway, Baby B, we now officially know she's a girl and she's named now. So we can quit saying pray for Baby B and we can start saying let's please pray for Gracie Ray. Gracie Ray is her name because her mommy's naming her Gracie because if she gets through this battle, this tough battle that she's going through, it'll be by the grace of God. So her mommy's calling her Gracie. And her middle name's going to be Ray after the town that my sister lives in. That was our hometown where we grew up and where she still lives. So she loves she loves Ray. And so we got Kinsley Elizabeth and Gracie Ray. So if you could please keep Gracie Ray in your prayers. She is Baby B, the baby that's needs in need of a lot of prayers um, the doctor thinks thinks that she will make it to delivery but after that they're not really sure but this was before they knew that she was in a small sack and there was fluid on her brain and everything she she just needs a lot of prayers because as we know God can work miracles and we, we're leaving it in God's hands, like everything else, and um, as always, God's will be done, and either way, I know God will take care of her, so please keep Gracie Ray in your prayers. And I think that's all the updates that I got to say, except for today is... Happy birthday to my nephew Jimmy, who turns 14 today. I think he's getting to have a birthday party this evening, but I'm not able, I'm not allowed to go because I'm not allowed to see Abby or Jimmy until they're 18. My sister won't let me see them. So um, maybe one day he'll see this and know that. I wished him a happy birthday every year that he has a birthday and of course I um, I gave him gave my mom a birthday card for him with money in it um, she's supposed to give it to him tonight but last time I gave them a birthday card I heard my sister threw it in the trash so she said if I sent him anything in the mail or anything, she would tr trash it. And I guess she did when I sent Abby her birthday card. So hopefully he'll get it and he'll get to get something nice, whatever he wants with his money. But Jimmy, if you ever get to see this one day, I love you. I've always loved you. I was in, I was in the delivery room when you were brought into the world. I, I watched you be born, and it was uh, it was an experience. It was an amazing experience seeing you come into this world and watching you grow through the years, and now seeing you grow through pictures. 
you, in the pictures you last time I got to see you you were just a little like a little boy to me and now in the pictures that I see of you that other people post you're so tall and thin you look like a grown man and it's, I know I've heard your voice has changed and you've just grown up on me and I have to miss it all sadly but I hope you have a wonderful birthday and I hope one day I get to hold you and Abby in my arms again I love you bye guys God bless